by about five minutes, me had to, to rush great. <laughs> All right. Mm. Nice. Raw culinary arts chef and instructor from the Leaf of Life Cuisine is in our kitchen this morning. Mm. And he has prepared raw vegan jollof. Jollof rice. Jollof rice. Yeah, so it's a one pot dish popular in many West African countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Morning, sir. Good morning, Bertis. What's going on? Not too much yet. All right. I want to taste the jello. Yeah, but this man. is raw stuff. So you yeah, man, nothing raw. cooked. Right. That's raw. Uncooked, no fire. And that's no it right soap. there? That's it. We use bloom wild rice. Wild rice. Wild rice. Bloom wild rice. So what happens is you will soak it overnight and it sprouts, it blooms, it becomes active again. That's what seeds and grains are supposed to do when you put them in water. It kind of... Um, it kind of simulates the germination process, you know, um, in the wild. So when you, when you soak it in water overnight, it, you know, becomes bioactive again. So it's bloomed. Yeah. So when it's bloomed, it changes the texture without cooking it. So I was looking. This is what it... This is the before. Yeah, this is what it this looks This is how it looks like bloomed. Here. I don't know if anybody can... Pick I don't know if I can pick it up here. right here. This is, how it look blo it looks, this is how it looks bloomed. Yeah, that little green. Yeah. Were it cooked? Yes. Well, it it would swell a little bit. It's but what you're looking at there is a crack shell, you know. So it blooms. When you, it's, if you look at this, take this. You see that white thing? Yeah. It blooms. So what you had was the shell. See, that is the actual rice. Okay. So it has bloomed. So All part right. of what you're eating is the, the shell. But this is the, the, the raw version. Yeah, man. How you get it to look like that? I mean, you know, those little tricks of the trade. It was a little moldy dish. You know, that's how I got it to, to look like that for presentation purposes. But, of course, in preparing the meal, we had to add, you know, herbs and spices, vegetables to it, you know, which is typically done. Beans, what I did was, you know, dice some string beans, dice some tomatoes, some carrots, parsley, scallion and thyme. And, of course, some scotch bonnet in there as well. Um, sometimes persons puree, puree um, mm, tomato and add to it instead of actually dicing it. But what I what I did was diced it this time just for you know. But how you get time. how you get this? this it's a, there's this, a dish. There's this, a molding dish. I just packed it in. No, but it seems. In, Remember the bl the rice blooms, so right. it it actually comes out like a fluffy a fluffy okay, vegetable, okay. which is what I want. A, a sprout, yeah, right? Okay. So that's what gives it the body. Okay. As well as other um, vegetables in there, and of course we have some kebab there, some stir not fried kebabs, <laughs> vegetable kebabs. This is pineapple, don't Yeah, man, there's pineapple on it. There is mushroom, zucchini, onions, bell peppers. Why raw food? I mean, you know, it was a lifestyle decision for me. You know what I mean? Um, I believe it has tremendous benefits. I've determined that for myself. Um, and, you know, doing my whole lifestyle transformation, I pursued certification in raw food preparation just to share what I have with the world. You know, it's really about what I was doing for myself, you know, personal empowerment, but I found I could share it with persons. What is, what is Leaf of Life Cuisine? It's a brand that I trade on now. We do catering, pop-ups, personal chef services, workshops and instruction in raw food preparation. Yeah. All right. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic. And you are found where? On Instagram, lol.cuisine, Leaf of Life Cuisine, and on Facebook, Leaf of Life Cuisine. My respect. Good to see you. Yeah, man. All right. There you go. Um, yeah, it was quick, late, and Thomas Shorter. And he's a raw culinary arts associate chef and instructor. When we come back.